Hi there, my name is Marcy and welcome to part 3 of my series, All You Need to Know About Coffee Painting. In this um, episode, we're going to be making some cutouts or stickers depending on how you want to call them. And as always, all the materials are listed in the description. And if you're looking for something that I didn't list there, feel free to ask me. But um, if you have any questions, look in the description first because I normally put all, or add more details in, the, in that area. Um, first, we're going to go with painting with the coffee first and then adding details. So in this case, I'm making kind of like closed flower buds or whatever you want to call them. We made some open flowers in my last video of the series, so now we're going to make them a little closer. Let's see how that turns out. Remember, we're not looking for perfect. We are just looking for getting the hand going. And I thought the easier they wear, the better they were going to be for you to replicate in case you don't want a printer or maybe you don't have a printer or whatever. But the point is that you learn how to make them. So if you do paint with the coffee first, look for something easy for you, something that you can easily make. Um, I tried to keep all my little drawings are as simple as possible and in one of them I added details just in case you wanted to see that too and also because I wanted to teach you that you can do that too so first we're gonna do the coffee and then we're gonna add details with um, microns or like fine liner pens uh, I rather I have two different ones I have the Statlers and the microns I always tend to use the microns more but I wanted to use both in this video just to show you, keep in mind that the Micron, um, if you draw with it first, then you can add watercolors or coffee or anything that has water in it because they won't run. But if you use the Stettlers, they will smoosh and run and go all over the place. So um, use the Stettler if you have that one for like extra details if you're not going to add anything more like wetness to it. But if you're going to keep it safe and invest in pens, I will recommend the microns because they work for um, water, like adding water to them after or just giving details afterwards. So now you saw that I did the normal rainbow we did in the video before but added more details to it. So we're gonna bump it up a little bit every time or that's my intention <laughs> and now we're adding some details with the microns. Keep in mind that I am not good with lines. My hand is too shaky for lines, so that's what I try to practice the most. And if you see me here, I'm going to slow it down and you're going to see the actual, this is the actual speed I do this. I try to relax and just let my hand do its thing so that I get more practice out of this, you know, just listening to some music in the background and just letting my hand be. This is like the most efficient way I've learned of you know doing my craft because it's a little bit kind of like me time so if you want to do that I will really really encourage you to just try it have fun relax don't ever aim for perfection um life is not perfect nature is not perfect and yet it's so beautiful I, I guess you know my obsession with plants by now but okay basically just add whatever details you want to your painting. It's your, it's, you know, your creation. So I added dots. I'm adding some kind of weird shaped stars, you know, just kind of doodling around and letting go and not thinking about it too much. Just having fun and relaxing. If you feel like I can't draw, I've never been able to paint, not even a heart. Who's going to look at it? you know and it's just for you to feel free and have a little bit of freedom and you time and maybe you'll create a masterpiece you never know anyhow um now i just gave it some extra details and this is what it ended up looking like and as always these are available for you to print for free so Use them for your personal use and print them as many times as you want. I'll have a link in the description for you. Now we're moving on to making the drawing first and then adding coffee. So I'll recommend you draw all you need to draw, put it aside, and then add the coffee. In this case, I'm making like a little wreath. 
I guess I'm already anticipating for Christmas. <laughs> but I do make my wreath. I really like to put like sentences in them or just put them outside a little present with the to and from, you know. And I have three boys, so I normally I'm asked to draw cars and teach them how to do them. I don't really draw cars. Um, I just have an image in my head and I put it there and that's it. And I went back to my high school years when we had to do houses many, many different ways. From basic to like super complicated. My art class was like really fun. But um, I just went with a little house and a car. They seemed to match. So that's what I did. You can do whatever you, ha you want. Even a heart. Mini hearts. So that will do. As long as you're moving your hand and doing the drawing first. Now you see that I'm adding my coffee and I'm trying to make it different shades but in this case I went with the lighter and the bigger leaves and I'm gonna add some details afterwards with the same coffee just with the darker shade but um, and remember if you make mistakes just add a little bit of water and with the napkin you'll be able to erase it. Remember the tricks from the first video be, you know being able to apply those it's really fun and now I'm moving on to the little details in the bigger um, leaves remember see I made a mistake then I erased it boom done simple now you can add a quote inside of there add it to your journal and if you cut them um, postcard size you will be able to send some postcards if you have a really thick kind of paper. I am sure there is one watercolor pad that is already postcard size. I'll add that in the description. I've used it um, sometimes and it really does work. My kids paint on them and I would normally mail them to my mom or my family in Florida. So that's a fun idea too in case you want to do like Christmas themed postcards with coffee or with watercolors or you know have your kids or anyone paint on draw on them and then you can mail them I'll just add those down below they're really really fun and I find them to be a good quality for what you want them to be most postcards are really cheap so here's the trick I told you there was a little mark there and I just deleted it or erased it I'm sorry <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> with um, a little bit of water and yeah, there's a little spot on top of the roof, like right there to the left. I'm going to add water to that and then press with my napkin and that's going to be out of there, delete it. I mean, erased. <laughs> I wonder how many times I'm going to say deleted in this video. Oh my god. Anyways, you know, mommy brain. Now I'm just adding some extra dark shades to the roof. This, um house it's all the same color but if you see there's many different shades in the same colors and now i'm using the white uniball pen to kind of give some detail to the window but i didn't like it so i erased it <laughs> now i'm going with my really fine micro and my microns are like my favorite pens for whatever for bullet journals for journaling for adding detail for drawing even for writing my shopping list i mean i love those really really love those um i'll add them in the description for you too in case you're interested in looking at them but i'm here um adding some bricks i wanted to not only do the drawing first but then add the coffee and then add more details when i was done so that's what the little house looks like really pretty if you ask me of course i did it so i might be a little bit biased <laughs> and now for the car i want this to look raggedy and you know, just kind of like the house, old and used and not perfect. So, for the class, I don't want to add more Uniball signal to this. So, I just added a little bit of my paint water and kind of like tap, dapped it a little bit with a napkin. Not taking it all off, but you know, just to give it a little shade. And here's how they turn out. There's a little lighter in the, where the light is supposed to be. I don't know, I guess reflection. And the little house and I really really love how that turned out so now you know how to paint with it and then add detail and then do the painting and I mean do the drawing and then add detail when you paint with the coffee but also you can write with your coffee ain't that neat 
And the best part is, I am not good at lines, like you know, or writing. So my handwriting, it's horrible, and with coffee, it's even worse. <laughs> so you would think, oh, she went to school, you know, for art and all that. She must have really pretty handwriting. No, I don't. So I ended up, you know, doing my writing, then erasing it, and doing the writing and erasing it, and I kept fixing it until I was happy with it. It wasn't perfect, but I was happy with it, so. And I just wanted to play in at, you know, a darker C and a lighter and darker F and just have fun with it. I am going to do my splatters here too, so yeah, you know me. And in the one that I did before, the little circle that I left some white space inside, you might notice that it's not a complete dark circle. I'm just gonna do another wreath. And in this case, I'm just gonna add the word hello. Again, not the best handwriting, but if you want these, they are going to be available for you to print, like I said. So remember, if you do this, I would love to see what you make. So feel free to tag me on Instagram. My info is down below. Send me an email, you know, keep in touch. And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I mean, I'm giving you, you know, some free info and my best attitude. <laughs> And I really, really enjoy you sharing your stuff with me. So anyhow, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Thanks for watching. And until next time, have an amazing day. Bye.